G'day folks, welcome back to uh, Atlantic War. What I thought I'd do here is uh, show you the full map laid out uh, on the table. This is, uh, well, technically it's five maps, but I'll show you what I've done out on the uh, kind of western edge out here around the uh, Catentan Peninsula to <laughs> save space. You can see how the maps have sort of fought up the edge. Um, this is five maps. Uh, typically it'll run A, B, C, D, and then E. But uh, to save space, what I've done is um, I didn't want to kind of fold the original maps, so I've um, printed off just the essential parts of maps A and E, and have just kind of uh, attached them to the edge of this map B. Then I've taken map E with the, no sorry, map A with the turn sequence of play and I've put that up here and I've taken a bit of map E and put it under there with some uh, this tracks uh, mulberry results and so forth. So this is kind of my administrative area. Then yeah you can see the landing beaches, uh, Utah, Omaha, Gold, Juno, Sword. Um, I'm hoping there are some little bits cut out. I know I sort of attached it with the beach, but it becomes important. Um, if the fighting really shifts up there, I can I can make adjustments. I don't think it will really kind of shift up to the edge. <laughs> um, but I can make adjustments if need be. I can always cut that off and put that on top of the edge of the table. So you may be familiar, if you've seen the live videos, you may be familiar with this area. This is where... Uh, I fought out the fall of Sherbrooke on that map region there. The next step is to shift to scenario four and I'm going to play Bloody Omaha just to become familiar with the invasion rules. That takes place around here. It is just a four turn scenario. So it runs, I think just over the course of one day, AM, midday, PM, and then the night turn. And it's really just to become accustomed to the invasion rules. Then, I think, um, look, I'll read through the airborne rules, see how they go. Uh, I may do an airborne scenario. Otherwise, I'm really keen to move on to the full campaign and um, use all of these maps. So I'm really excited having laid this all out. Got the plexi over the top. Um, yeah, really want to play that full campaign. So I'll, I'll be jumping into Bloody Omaha as soon as possible and I'll do that through some live video so uh, subscribe and stay tuned um, and we'll see how Atlantic Wall develops.